Joel Wahlberg, Nate Streck, and Tori Baum, Baum Stark, they love to drink. They just, uh, well, they hate to interact with other humans and leave tips. So they, went, they got together, they pulled their most resilient brain cells, and they developed, it's a work of art, ladies and gentlemen, the AI Bar 2. Welcome to the show, guys. Thanks. On behalf of, of, of myself, the, the staff, and the crew, thank you for bringing this with you. We appreciate it. It's making our shots wobbly and out of focus, but uh, it's doing a great service. Uh, the AI Bar. This thing, this thing pours uh, how many drinks? Well, right now, with the drinks we have in and the database we have behind it, it can pour about 350 drinks. But in theory, it could pour any combination of the 26 different ingredients. All right, that is, that is fantastic. Can we get a round of applause for the AI Bar, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, now, I can assume that the three of you are, are raging alcoholics? Yeah. No? No. Now, why else, why else would you spend the time putting something like this together? Tell me, well, how did this come about? Oh, we actually uh, stumbled across a website called The Bar Monkey, and there was a little, uh, little version of this made out of pop bottles and uh, some plywood, and we figured we could just uh, improve upon that model, and this is our second version of it, and uh, we, we think this one's getting really close to being the final model. Now, did you just download some software and update the drivers, or is AI Bar 2 a completely different experience from the original? Completely different. Uh, this one has a lot of improvements. It uh, actually seals the bottle, so juices don't go bad. Ah. Uh, we pressurize the bottles, and uh, it just we have a refrigeration unit this time, so things just stay fresh, and you, can, you don't have to change anything. Uh, all right, I'm sold. How, how's a drink actually purchased? Is there a, a slot for money? How do we order up a drink? What do we do here? Well, uh, you just touch which beverage you'd like, mm -hmm. so... Going to cocktails. Alcohol. Yep, and then uh, select the uh, first letter of whatever drink you want. So go to B, and we'll hit uh, Bahama Mama. Nice. And I like this. Now, did you guys put all this info in here? It comes up and lets you know exactly how many ounces a drink is and what's in it, et cetera. You yep. guys put all this info in there yourselves? Mm -hmm. Right. Wow, working in shifts around the clock, no doubt. <laughs> yeah. All right. So you just select the drink, and then what? You, you throw in, let's, let's make one. Yeah. Why not? Let's do it. Let's do this. Uh, I, I'm a fan of a macarena. I like a good, sturdy macarena. Can we, can we get one poured? Is that yeah, all right? Yeah. Yep. All right, just so I, I press M. I say, okay, macarena is what I want. It tells me what's in it. I select it, and I just, of course, the magic button there. All right, now is this going to explode? All right, oh, oh. <laughs> look at that. That looks like a macarena being poured perfectly. And now they, I noticed a little status bar on the screen as well. Is that, is that independent for each drink? It knows exactly how long it needs to pour? It is, since you have uh, 25 or 26 mm -hmm. different ingredients and they have different viscosities. Can, so. I, can I have a second? Yep. Yes. <laughs> Talk amongst yourselves. Uh, pretend you. Okay, hold on. Oh, that's good. That's yeah. strong, but strong, but good. I like uh, that. We have the drink styled up a little bit for our uh, own use. Uh, I, I bet. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Kick it up a notch. You guys are obviously pros, right? Yeah, yeah. We have uh, to do a lot of testing. So. I think we need to show exactly what's going on behind the scenes here. So let's pop open the fridge, and this is where the magic happens, right? Look at that. What's going on in here, guys? Well, basically, we have 16 different liquor and mixer bottles. Yes, Each one do. has CO2 going into it. CO2 comes in the refrigerator in the back, goes into our manifold, or we can control and shut off and open each individual bottle so we can depressurize it to change out bottles. And then we have uh, the, all the liquids go out, out of the refrigerator and into our uh, pouring tower. Nice. Now, how long did this actually take to throw together? What was the process? Well, all told, we finished the old bar about a year and a half ago, probably a year of development work and maybe three months to six months of really hardcore uh, working on it. Now, how did you guys get together? Were you, you know, is this a, a beer pong tournament? Were you in a frat house together? You, know, you got initiated at the same time and decided we need something for, for parties? Or how, did, how did you guys come about? Uh, not really. We just, Tori and myself met at school, and then I became a co-worker of Joel's. And we just uh, shared the same interests of technology and uh, drinking, of course. So well, we, yes, they, <laughs> they tend to go hand in hand, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. We ended so, up as roommates, and uh, we just constructed can I, the bar. Can I get somebody an orange flux? Can I just? Yeah. Any, sure. Anybody like an orange flux? All right, let's get one of those going on. Any crew members? What are we taking orders? Let's go, people. Shout them out. Uh, sweet and sour. Sweet and sour. All right. Uh, now you got the AI bar. Now this is the AI bar two. And any plans for a three or a mass-produced one? I know, like I would love one of these in my apartment. You know. Well, we talked about that. We talked, you know, we're, we're finally, we, we use this, I, AI Bar 2 is usually our, is our home prototype, you might say. So now that we've ironed out all our kinks and finally got it working, we want to work on, you know, improving it, maybe doing something for a home user market and then working on some commercial type applications. Very nice. Guys, I got to say, I'm going to order a screaming orgasm. I wish it was this easy. But uh, touch of a button, literally and figuratively. All right, we're going to let that bad boy pour. Thank you again for, for getting us all drunk. We sincerely appreciate it and all your hard work, guys. The AI Bar will be featured. Uh, it's going to be one of the projects that's in the new book from our friends at Make Magazine. The book is called Makers, and it's in bookstores everywhere tomorrow. So get it. It's fascinating stuff. Now, I'm going to spend this break whining to the AI bar about my woman troubles, which, which actually reminds me, will, will chicks dig it? We can find out next.